Anderson Zoo is one of only two state-owned zoos in the country. So that makes us pretty unique. So the mission of the Minnesota Zoo is to connect people, animals, and the natural world to save wildlife. And everything we do is about saving wildlife. We um, contribute to field research. We contribute funds to support uh, endangered species around the world. We have five wolves here at the Minnesota Zoo. Um, three are males and three are females. So the wolves that we have at the Minnesota Zoo are a family unit. Um, they are all siblings. They were rescued actually all together in a den um, from a wildfire in Alaska. A typical day for the wolves here at the zoo um, is pretty low key. They get a really large breakfast in the morning of about 1,500 grams of meat. They spend a lot of their day playing. Um, they're very playful. They have very strong social bonds. Um, so if, you know, whenever you come to the zoo, you can probably see them playing with each other. Um, and then they sort of do whatever they want for the day. These particular wolves were hand raised, so they are very comfortable around people. Um, and then of course, you know, being a keeper, going up there a few times a day, you really get to know their personalities, you really get to know um, what they like, what they don't like, and they definitely form bonds with us as well. In the wild, wolves are generally pretty leery of humans. They're not aggressive toward us by nature. So they would probably try to avoid us a little bit more than the wolves here at the zoo do. Wolves, um, in general, are habitat generalists. So they, their populations can thrive basically in any habitat in the Northern Hemisphere. So here that's gonna mean forests, it's gonna mean swampy areas, basically anywhere. In the winter, wolves are gonna enter it with thicker fur, full-size packs, and hungry bellies. They usually feed pretty heavily in the fall. It can be kind of hard to hunt in the winter, so they need to make sure that they can sustain those periods of inactivity with enough fat reserves. So mainly in the winter, they're gonna be hunting, uh, resting if they need to, to make sure that they can conserve their energy, um, and staying together in a pack. I think when a lot of people come to the zoo and see the wolves, they're kind of amazed at how large they are, especially these particular wolves. You know, they're not afraid to come right up to the glass or right up to the fence and, and greet everyone. So people get a really good look at them up close, which is amazing. And you know, they look just like dogs. <laughs> they wag their tail, they wiggle their butts. They, people are usually surprised at how dog-like they really are. Wolves are a protected species in the state of Minnesota. Uh, they were reinstated under the um, Endangered Species Act in 2014. Since 2014, when they were reinstated back in the Endangered Species Act, uh, the wolf populations have continued to grow at a fairly stable number. The Minnesota Zoo is a state agency, so about a third of our operating budget actually comes from the state of Minnesota. Um, and the remaining two thirds is earned or um, donated revenue. So we get um, some of our budget comes from people visiting the zoo or attending our programs or going on our travel programs and a lot of it is also donated by individuals or companies. Without um, appropriation from the state and all of the donations from donors and people attending the zoo and supporting it that way, we wouldn't be able to continue to provide the exceptional care we give all of our animals, top-notch food and a lot of different enrichment treats and toys. We love the support of Minnesotans. The, the best thing to do is to just come out and visit us and that's a win-win for everybody. People can attend our education programs, our travel programs. We have a lot of local Minnesota travel programs focused on the species we have right here in Minnesota, like our wild wolf travel adventures. And you can also donate to the zoo or attend our um, events that happen year round. I encourage everyone out there to come out and visit us here at the Minnesota Zoo.
right, hello everybody, and welcome to this new version of Megasota Game Night, just for today. <laughs> Special version today. We've got some exciting things happening, and uh, we're going to take the day off from tournaments, but we want to show you guys some really neat things that we have going on in the world of Pilot. We've got some brand new games coming out, some changes to old games, and we've got some trivia that we're going to be doing here in a little bit. Where are we at? I want to move this piece of paper oh, over so sorry. I can see the timer. <laughs> there we go. Two and a half minutes. All right. So we just watched a big intro video on Winter Wolves. Brand new game that should be out uh, sometime this week. So you can look forward to playing that soon. That's an e-pull tab game. We're going to talk more about that uh, later. Uh, but the other thing that's coming up, the next time we play Megasota Game Night, which is a week from today, uh, will, will be a small change to the coverall games, and we just wanted to go through that with you uh, tonight uh, just so you can be a little bit more familiar with what's going on with that. So Tristan, you're out there, and you are about ready to play. We've got your screen up on the, uh, the screen here, yeah. and it, so far it looks... Well, let me make it a little bigger. looks yeah. kind of normal. Yes, um, and it's going to look normal uh, to everyone else. Uh, as you can see, I have my name here. I have the cards that I can purchase, which I'm going to get a few more. And I can still tap the purchase button here. Yeah. Yep. And then after that, I'm still allowed to buy more if I want to. So that has not changed. Uh, and you can still go back and play some pull tabs now if you want to. Yeah. Um, so that part is, is, is the same. Yes, that's but true. But the difference comes when the game actually starts. So if you want to go back into your screen there we'll see the countdown says about a minute to go yeah and so we'll check it out so if you're just tuning in remember this is just a demo there's no coverall don't panic <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't try to figure it out this is just our demo and we are showing you a small change that's going to happen next week when you can actually play these things um and so yeah we've got about a minute to go and we'll see what that change looks like and basically you've got to hit play um as soon as the game starts uh, make sure you get into that game and so you don't want to fall asleep too much you might miss your chance to hit that button but uh, we'll we'll show you what it looks like that way you'll be a little bit more familiar with it and I'm going to transition us back over here so you can have something more interesting to look at instead of the screen <laughs> well I don't know if this is actually yeah, more I interesting don't know. or, <laughs> or <laughs> not it depends <laughs> it depends on your yeah how you view interesting <laughs> uh, but anyway so in a half half a minute I was about to say half an hour uh, we'll see what this change looks like and then after that, we are going to play some bar trivia, something new that we're working on, early access for you guys. And uh, we'll try it out tonight and see how it goes. Who knows? I have fun. As long as I win. Yeah. Yeah. We play. <laughs> All right. So we're coming up here, Tristan. I'm going to put you full screen. Okay. So you can describe what's happening here. we got about five seconds to go. All right. And we'll see the change. All right. So the big change is this flashing window you guys can see on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, you only have a limited amount of time to hit this play button now. There's even a little countdown timer beneath it. Uh, once that timer hits zero... Oh, we all got to hit play. Yep. I'm hitting play. Oh. <laughs> once that timer hits zero, if you haven't hit play, your money will be refunded and you won't be able to play the games anymore. That's both for uh, coverall and our flash bingo games. And we should get our tournament started. I think we had yeah. enough players with three. Yeah, we're well, <laughs> it is just the three of us sitting <laughs> here. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, Tri this we didn't have an extra room like right here for Tristan, so I know. he's <laughs> he's over on the other side of the uh, of the hallway there. This but is a yeah. a two man yeah. room. <laughs> and yeah. Max, even fire for code. me to get in here, I have to make Tony get out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have a max fire code of uh, two person maximum. All right, and there we go. So now our yeah. game is off to the races and we play like normal. So yes. that is the change um, coming up for the tournament games um, next week for our, our coverall game. So just to be aware of that, that you're going to have to hit that play button one more time uh, to get into the games, and shouldn't be a big deal. Just a little bit of a change. We don't want to surprise anybody. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's coming up next week. And right now I think we're going to do some bar trivia. Does that sound like fun? Are we on schedule or what? <laughs> did I say 7-Eleven? <laughs> you did. You're like right <laughs> to the minute. I don't that know how that is happened. absolutely amazing. Because we were really guesstimate yeah, guesstimating. Yeah, we're, we're usually <laughs> not on time for anything, but down to the minute, <laughs> we're going to start talking about trivia. So we're going to play a game of bar trivia here. I'm going to get it set up here uh, really quick, and, uh, and we'll explain how it works and how you can play. So uh, we're going to take a quick break, probably like a 30-second break, 
to get some wires plugged in here, and we'll be right back. And then uh, I'll explain to you how you can play. Everybody can play along. If you've got a computer or a phone with uh, that can get on the Internet, then you're good to go for playing along with us tonight. So if you want to get that ready, and we'll explain where the website is and how to play along with us in just a second. So we'll take a very quick break, and we'll be right back. All right, we are back, and we are ready to go. Uh, I hope all of you are ready to go as well. Uh, Tristan, you ready to go? Yes, I am, I think. Okay. All right, so this is the debut of something new we've been kind of playing around with. Uh, we're going to try it out tonight and just see how it goes, see if anybody likes it, see if it's fun, see if it works. Uh, we played at the past couple Megasota game nights. If you were here last Tuesday, or on Saturday for Megasota Game Day. Uh, we were all uh, trying it out here and having some fun. So we're going to open it up to you guys tonight. If you're out there having fun with us, hanging out, uh, it's your chance to, uh, to play along. And the way this works is you use your phone or your computer, and you go to the website mybar.tv. That is a pilot game site. And uh, you will see a screen that looks a lot like what's down here below, like doing that. <laughs> And uh, my arm's not even on. That. Oh, you got to put it. OK, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you give your email address or some kind of contact info and then a screen name down there and hit play, you will be able to join this game. And I am going to join mine right now. Um, we don't really use the email address for anything at this point in time, um, but it's just there for later on. If we do have prizes sometime, uh, we will award them that way. And I'm wondering if I can move this off to the side, or I'll just put it down here. I'll move it here so we can see the screen. So we'll give everybody a few minutes uh, to go to, oh yeah, to go to mybar.tv and type in, in the username and some kind of an email address, contact info, and uh, give it a shot. We'll hit play. We'll all sit here at the please wait for game just a little bit to get everybody in there. And uh, we'll give everybody a few minutes. So again, go with your phone, go to HTTP mybar.tv and give your email and a username. Yes. Eventually that'll be your PGL username and account info, uh, but for right now we're just testing it out, uh, see how it goes and so we don't really want anything specific and that email doesn't really go anywhere so I'm not going to be emailing you anything but right now it's a placeholder to see how things will actually work out. And we will see what happens here. Wait maybe another minute or two. What's on our schedule here? 7.20 is when we're supposed to start. So we are, man, are we on we a schedule right or there. what? <laughs> and we got 10 questions. The faster you answer correctly, the more points you get. And we'll get a little leaderboard at the end of each round and see who is winning, who's the best in the state tonight at trivia. And I think, Tristan, you won the first night, didn't you? Yes, I did. Are you going <laughs> to win tonight? No, probably not. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't do so hot last time, too. Uh, <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing we got coming up after this trivia, we have a Winter Wolves playthrough where Nikki, Tristan, and I will all be playing Winter Wolves. We'll see who can win the most credits in the, now I was going to say shortest amount of time, but in the <laughs> amount of time that we play. Yes. Now, Winter Wolves is a pull tab game. It is not a Flash Bingo tournament game, but we're going to play it that way tonight. We're each going to start out with 500 bucks and see where we end up see who can get the most credits. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move my mouse like I always have my mouse pointing on top of stuff. And I think we're probably ready to get going. What do you guys think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so as soon as, soon as I hit the start button, uh, your screen will come up with the first question, and we'll see how it goes. So let's go. We will start the game now. Who discovered penicillin? Oh, I got it wrong. <laughs> I don't have anything yet. Oh. Uh. Oh, we've got a few people playing. What about refreshers? I mean, so far on the leaderboard, there's me, uh, Tamitha, Clayton D, 18, and, well, Tony. And so far, we all have zero points. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know why. You want to go to mybar.tv. 
That's where I was. No, uh, yeah, mybar.tv. That's where I was. Oh. Yep, and then give your info. All right, we're getting Nikki all caught up here. But so far, it looks like nobody got that correct. Yeah, we've got Tristan, Tamitha, Clayton D, 18. And we'll let Nikki get caught up here real quick. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, everybody missed it. So <laughs> the answer, <laughs> the answer was, let me see. I've, I made little notes for all these questions. You guys got to know this stuff. Penicillin is one of the most important things that's ever happened, right? Yes. Penicillin was discovered in 1928 by Alexander Fleming. And what he did is he noticed a Petri dish containing uh, some kind of mold that was left open. Uh, or and, and then it made like a halo around it. And so he thought, well, why doesn't this mold or this sort of virus bacteria kind of at attack this thing in the middle? And it was because it was penicillin. Oh. And so he figured it out that way. And he concluded that the mold released a substance that repressed the growth and uh, caused the lysing of the bacteria. You know what that means? <laughs> Is this the second question? <laughs> no, I don't know what it means either, but it was on Wikipedia. All right, so <laughs> let's get the next question. Here we go. Rhinoplasty is a surgical procedure on what part of the human body? Chin, uh -huh. neck, ears, nose. Tamitha, in there fast, 755. Nikki, 741, got it right. Tristan got it right as well. And Clayton D, missing out. And, oh, Team Herbie is in there now. All right, Team Herbie oh, wow. coming up. And actually, right now, the way it works, I left it kind of open. So if you come in late, you'll be able to join um, in the middle. You won't get to go back and do the old questions, but you'll get to start on these questions. And since nobody got the first one right, you're not really at a disadvantage. That's so true. Team Herbie right. out there is 796, getting it right. And what do I know about rhinoplasty? Not a whole lot, but uh, what do I know here? Uh, it's from the Greek word to shape the nose. So, yes, that is a nose surgery. And it started with the ancient Egyptians. Um, the oldest known rhinoplasty uh, was around 3000 B.C. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> and it was some Egyptian guy. <laughs> 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 All right, question <laughs> number three coming up. Team Herbie in the lead with 796. What is the first element on the periodic table? Tamitha in the lead early, 1457. Helium, hydrogen, lithium, or oxygen? Hydrogen is the answer. Tamitha in first, Tristan second, Nikki third, Clayton D in fourth place and where did team herbie go team herbie has not checked in yet let's we'll see if they're going to answer or where they're at they could have clicked away from their screen who knows hmm. but yes that is hydrogen right yep and hydrogen is the lightest element in the periodic table and it's also the most abundant chemical substance in the universe believe that there's chad checking in 539 thank you chad thanks for playing glad to see you out there on our leaderboard all right hydrogen most common element in the universe and somehow when you burn it it makes water so if you're thinking of going to mars <laughs> hydrogen. all right question four coming up what do we got how would one say goodbye in spanish Tamitha still in the lead, 2157. Adios is the answer. And let's see what happened on that one. Did everybody get it? Clayton D picked it up. Chad got it. Tristan got it. Nikki got it. Tamitha got it. And Don's missed it. New player showing up, Don's. And Adios, definitely. Uh, let's see. Ola is high. Salir means to exit. And I didn't even look, I didn't even. Uh, Look these up. I knew it from my high school Spanish. Right, <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Calderon, Senora Calderon. And au revoir, I did have to look up, and that's French. Yes, that's <laughs> French. You did so have to look it up? I did, yes. <laughs> Why don't you know that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next. <laughs> next, all right, next question. Here we go. Uh, question five coming up. This is a 10 question game. Let's see where are we at. Oh, geez. Nope. I'm so bad with ah. the zodiac. I don't <laughs> Me too. Well, there's only four chances. 
Correct answer is cancer. Oh. And let's see, who got that one? Not many. Tamitha, Tristan, you got it. Uh, I guessed. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll take that. Congratulations, yeah, Tristan. Yeah, good job. You got it right. <laughs> but Tamitha out there in the lead with just shy of 3,000 points. And what did I look up on that one? I had some good ideas. Oh, yeah, birthdays are between June 21st and July 22nd. Uh, if you have a birthday in that range, you have these characteristics. Introspective, phlegmatic, cardinal, nocturnal, tenacious, intuitive, emotional, indolent, domestic, eloquent, refined, empathetic, and clairvoyant. Mm. Ooh. Uh, anybody here born in that range? What was the range again? Jul uh, June 21st to July 22nd. No. Damn. <laughs> All right, well, we can't see if it's accurate or not. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where are we at? Too much fun here. Question number six coming up. Roman numerals. What does XL equate to? Ah, uh, I got it wrong. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> I just hear everybody in my headphones not getting it right. 40 was the answer. Yeah. And I don't know Shoot. that anybody got that right. It, it does not look like Nobody it. Nobody got it right. No. Even Tamitha, our superstar, yeah. did not I get know. it right. The leaderboard oh, did not man. change. On that question, and yeah, so I is answer. 1, B is 5, <laughs> X is 10, L is 50, and when you put them backwards, you subtract. Oh, yeah. From the late Middle Ages. I don't know why they just didn't use regular numbers. Because <laughs> <laughs> those were the regular <laughs> numbers. <laughs> All right, question uh. seven coming up. What actress married Michael Douglas in 2000? Nikki, whoa, f big answer. Oh, Tamitha got it as well. I, I had to guess because I forgot who it was. <laughs> yeah, so let's see who got that one right on this one. Nikki, Tamitha, Tristan got it right too. Dan's and Clayton D getting it wrong. Uh, but let's see what that answer was. The answer was Catherine Zeta-Jones. She is a Welsh actress. Did you know that? No. Did, Did you know what know movies she was, she was in? Yeah, I mean, she was in a lot of movies during that time period. She was in The Terminal <laughs> and High Fidelity. Which, High Fidelity is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, and um, I mean, The Terminal was a good movie. That was with Tom Hanks where he got stuck in the airport. I never saw yeah. that movie. Yeah, um, <laughs> that was pretty good. So, um, anyways, I didn't know <laughs> who she was. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, question eight coming up. <laughs> if soccer is called football in England... What is American football called in England? Well, I got that one <laughs> way wrong. <laughs> oh, Tamitha still in the lead. Nikki, not too far behind. Tristan, very close as well. Yes, it is called American That's football. That's exactly what it's called. Yeah. yeah. American, yeah, American football. And, uh, yeah, so Tamitha, Don's got it too. Or, no, Don's missed it on that one in question eight. But Nikki got it. And Tamitha missed it. So Nikki picking up some positions on Tamitha. Tamitha's still in the lead 355 yeah. and, or 3,555. Let's see. Where are we at now? Question nine coming up. Uh-oh. Question nine. Which of the following European languages is classified as a language? Basque, Hungarian, Maltese, or Galician? Well, I got that one wrong, too. <laughs> I don't even know what I pushed. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I got it right or wrong. Well, it looks like you didn't get it right. Okay. It kind of uh, flew away from me. I didn't. And the correct answer is Basque. And oh. it's this little region um, on the edge of Spain. And they have really good food. Really good food. When Basque we lived in food. Reno, there was a great Basque restaurant that mm -hmm. we would go to, and they served pecan punch. Yeah. And a few Basque phrases, if you're ever in the Basque region. Hello is Kekso. Goodbye is Agur. And bingo is bingo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question, last <laughs> chance for anybody to beat Tamitha. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Question 10, coming up. Which of these countries remained neutral during World War II? United Kingdom, Switzerland, France, oh. Italy. Nikki in right away, but Tamitha in fast enough to take it just oh, by 100 points. No. Yep. Clayton D back there, and Don's <laughs> down in fifth place. So congratulations to the first public Pilot yeah, Bar Trivia game. To Way to go, Tamitha. Tamitha, congratulations on picking up 4,100 points. And let's see who got that last one right. Look this up. 
Don's got it right. Tamitha got it right. Chad got it right. Nikki got it right. Tristan got it right. Everybody got that one right, Clayton included. So everybody All knew right. that. I probably would not have got that right. <laughs> oh my! I'm starting to get worried about yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm. That's why I'm the host. <laughs> um, but the interesting I, thing I found was the Swiss franc became uh, the like kind of the currency okay. of everybody. So whichever yeah. side you're on, you converted to Swiss francs because that was the thing that was going to be stable. Yeah. Because they weren't doing anything. So they had billions of dollars worth of currency coming into their country during this um, during that period. Uh, and very good. So that is the end. I think I'll just end this game. I'll click the button, and we should get a game over. Boop. There we go. And uh, so there we are. First game is complete, and uh, we will do this again probably in about 15 minutes yeah. or so. So um, if you want to play again, you, you'll have to um, refresh your browser here in a little bit. But uh, for right now, we'll just take a break, and uh, we're going to play some Winter Wolves. Coming up here just in a few minutes, we'll do a Winter Wolves playthrough. We'll play for about five minutes or so. Where are we at time-wise? Are we on schedule? Too? Yeah, we're still on schedule. What is going on with this? I don't know. <laughs> we made a plan. We I know. Stuck yeah, with I it. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Uh, we will take a quick <coughs> break, and then we will do a Winter Wolves <laughs> playthrough and see which of the three of us uh, can do the best. And let me get back to my other screen here. There we go. See which of the, of the three of us can do the best. We'll also identify some of the cool features uh, that you can find in Winter Wolves. This game is super awesome. Um, I am really excited to hear what you guys think of it. And uh, I am going to let me do one more thing here before we get going. And do 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 <laughs> singing the song. <laughs> there we go. All right, we will take a quick break, and then we'll be back with a Winter Wolves playthrough. All right, we are back, and we are going to work on this Winter Wolves game. And uh, this is a really cool game that we got coming out. Hopefully, uh, you'll see it in the next few days. It's an electronic pull tab game, so you can play it at any time. You don't just have to play it on Tuesday nights. And what we're going to do right now is just play through it and show you some of the features. We've got a little capture of the screen down below there, and we can even do something fancy like this. I can transition between it. Look at that. Fancy. Fancy. And all three of our iPads are all hooked up, so you'll be able to see where we're at. Now, we're going to keep track of how much money we win. So my iPad currently has $475 on it. How much do you have? 
491. Nikki has 491. I and have 500 exactly. Okay. Good job. And we are going to play for, let's play for five minutes. Um, so we'll, we'll stop at 741. How's that sound? Okay. And you can't bet, we got these things rigged. So if you bet 50 cents, you'll hit a lot of jackpots. Oh now wow. that doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> right, no, yeah. <laughs> but for this thing, it does happen. So I, I, will, I can look and at I Nikki's screen. Nikki's and Tristan, we're going to have it on yours most of the time, so I can just double check to see if you are. Um, Tristan's not a cheater. <laughs> 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 Make sure that you're not cheating. All right, well, let's just go ahead and play. We'll stop at, uh, we'll stop at 742 now. And see what. And if you got anything interesting happening, like any of the bonus rounds, um, shout it out. We'll get it up on the uh, screen here. I'll click over to you. Uh, but we got some pretty cool bonus rounds in here, including the Sticky Wilds. Um, oh, I got a lot of new decks showing up. There we go. Tristan just hit a big win. Yeah. Yeah. If you get a big win. Oh, and I also should mention that the sound we have mixed here is the top top ten music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is <laughs> different music wolves. for this. We probably should have got the music for this, but that's all right. But I love the way this game uh, drops the symbols and how they come back up. It looks really cool. Oh, yeah. It's a really pretty game. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> and you've got that wild in the middle or that kind of that last symbol. Um, showing up and it's giving like you a, a little bit of suspense. It's like a fire jewel. Yeah, <laughs> I should be pushing this button faster because I, I have not won yet. I am down. And I don't know why. I'm glad I'm not sharing my screen because I never win at anything. Because <laughs> you, you're hitting the button too much. I just won 50 cents. <laughs> well, I'm trying to play fast. That's my plan. I think the faster I play. And you can bet more. If you want to bet more, you know, you, we can do that, but you just can't bet 50 cents. Let's see. Maybe I'll bet two bucks. And yeah, this should be out uh, this week. Might even see it tomorrow, depending on uh, how quickly things kind of work their way through the system. And... Um, yeah, let us know what you think about it. Let us know even right now. You can talk to us on Facebook. Uh, we got the video going. Let me see. I kind of turned that off for a second. That was fun. Hello from Dilworth. Tammy out there. Nice to see you, Tammy. Was Tammy, this could have been the Tammy who won our hot dish. I believe so. I think it is. Tammy, that was an amazing dish. We had our hot dish special on Saturday, and uh, Tammy sent in a recipe where we took the dressing and put it in a waffle iron yes. and then covered it in mashed potatoes and turkey so and gravy and it was awesome. It was great. So glad to see you out there today. Anybody hitting a bonus yet? I haven't I haven't hit a bonus yet or anything. Oh, there we go. I just hit free plays. Hang on, let me get to my screen. Is this me? Oh. I'm clicking. There we go. There you are. So here's the free plays, and uh, I'm gonna go all. I'm going all the way here. Go to yeah, that's screen. a good idea. Yeah, and we get we get to choose our animal. We've got the wolf, the moose, or the bear. Who should we go with? Um, how about the moose? Mm. All right, Marty Moose. Here we go. Three free plays, and this is awesome. So you get to see if we get any wilds. There we go. And what'll happen is now that wild will stay there. And, uh, and any wild that you get throughout your free plays sticks to that uh, position, and you get new symbols. So let's see, what did I end up with? Eight bucks. Not bad. All Total right. win of $16. Very good. So yeah, I think that, that sticky wild idea is a great one. I mean, I just really like the way this game looks, the way it plays. It, it's, it's really nice pretty. looking game. Oh, I got a bonus. Oh, Nikki got a bonus? All right, let's see. You have to click it fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your okay, hang on. This should be you. No. This should be you. There we go. Oh, oh there you go. Wild reel. Yeah, there it is. That's awesome. Yep. So there is another bonus that you can get, and you had that whole reel was wild, or that whole middle column. Yeah. And uh, yeah, big win, ten bucks. I wish I was faster at clicking over. <laughs> That's okay. 
<laughs> Where are we at time-wise? Oh, we got one minute left. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Oh, dynamite opened. Oh, I just got a free play bonus. All right, let's see we got, where we at here. Is that you? <laughs> Should be the one with the animals on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Oops. This should be you. There we go. All right. All right. I'm what are you going for? I'm going to go with the wolf. All right, oh, I got four free plays. Perfect. I'll put you full All screen. Right. Yeah, I love when those wilds stick because then, especially on the first play, yeah. because then they're going to be there for all the rest of yours. Not helping me out a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than not being there, I That's guess I would true. say. Oh, that should get me something. There we go. Ooh, 20 win, or 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 win, 20 <laughs> yeah, bucks. That's not bad. All right. Big win. All right, time is up. Our five minutes is up. Yep, okay. Um, so let's figure out. Hey, let me send this thing back. You know what? I was watching you play, Tristan. I should have been playing as fast as possible. <laughs> All right, so I ended up with 447. So that means I lost $28. I was betting two, two bucks a play. What you, would you end up with? 452. 452. So you lost... Uh, thirty-nine dollars. See, I I went big, and I bet five dollars per play. Yeah, and I lost a hundred thirty-five dollars. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right then. <laughs> I guess I did the best. <laughs> um, but yes, these games are really fun. The graphics are great. Um, the bonuses are really good, and I think that a lot of people are going to love these games out there. So uh, you can look forward to them coming out. You know, any day this week, hopefully tomorrow, uh, you can start to see them. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, Tammy says, yes, she was the one with the famous recipe. So nice to Ooh. see you out there. Oh, Tammy was yeah, playing as Tamitha. She, I figured, yeah. yeah. That was, that's okay, awesome. yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Now we're putting all the pieces of the puzzle <laughs> together. Tammy schooled us on recipes and, and, and trivia. trivia. <laughs> all right, I think... <laughs> We should try it one more time. Are we, are we up for yeah. another round of trivia? Yep, one oh more yeah. round of trivia sounds Okay, awesome. let's do one more round of trivia. Uh, we'll, we're going to take a quick break and get some uh, wires crossed here, and uh, we're, we're going to try it again. So if you're out there watching, uh, we'll be right back in about two minutes. We'll explain to you how to get into the games again if you haven't done it yet. Um, if you were in the first game and, and you still have the game over screen, you might need to, uh, to refresh or close your browser or something like that, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we get back here um, after we get things set up. So we will be uh, right back. All right, we are back, and uh, we are ready for round two of Bar Trivia tonight. Since the first one was so much fun, uh, we are going to try it again and see what happens and see if we can beat Tammy, yeah. uh, <laughs> who, is, who 
is very good at recipes and very good at trivia. So if you don't know, oh wait, Tristan, I got you muted. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, if you haven't, if you didn't play with this with us earlier tonight, uh, you can go to uh, on your phone or on your computer. You can go to mybar.tv. You'll get to the screen here. You can put in your email address and your username, and that'll help you get through here and play it. We're just testing this out tonight. Something new that we're trying. And uh, we had a lot of fun in the first game tonight. We're going to try it again here um, and see how it goes. If you played in the first game and you're stuck at the game over screen, you can either refresh or just hit your back button and you'll get back to the screen and you can type in your email and your username again. And uh, we'll just give everybody a few minutes to, uh, to check this out. We'll do another 10 questions and see how it goes. It's 10 questions. You answer as fast as you can. The quicker you answer, the more points you get, the more right answers, and the more points you get, uh, the better you do. So let's, I don't know, give it a minute or so, see if anybody else wants to try it out. And we've got it kind of set up today. If you show up late, you can just pick up in the middle of the game. So you won't get to play all the previous questions, but you'll be able to play all the questions going forwards. And why not? I'll join here, this one. I'm not actually playing, because I know all the questions. <laughs> um, and I know all the answers. I should say that. Uh, it's, yeah. not, it's not that I know <laughs> the questions. It's that I know all the answers. <laughs> um, but I am using this computer up here so I can watch uh, and read the questions off. All right. Let's give this a shot. Let's get going. And, again, if you're coming in late, you can just go to mybar.tv and get all signed up. All right. Here we go. We are starting this game. Question one coming up. Which movie includes a giant bunny-like spirit who has magic powers, including growing trees? Whoa. Tristan got it right away. And Tristan, did you know that? I guessed. Oh, so this is some anime, famous <laughs> anime thing. And I had never heard of it before. But, uh, but yeah, it had won all kinds of awards in the early 90s. Huh. Yeah. So it's something that we were all supposed to Good know. Good to know. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Tristan, the only one getting it right, the only one on the leaderboard, 575 points. Let's go to the next question and see what we got. Which brass instrument has the lowest pitch in an orchestra? Tristan, on the board again, first. 1183 total. Tuba is the answer. Tamitha and Nikki getting it right as well, but Tristan getting that big win out there. So, yes, Yay. the tuba, I think... Something I read, learned about the tuba. Uh, tuba is Latin for trumpet. Oh. <laughs> I don't quite understand that. It's a really big trumpet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> I guess it is. Did uh, Tristan, did you play an instrument band? Yeah, I played the trombone. And you were a trumpet player. I played the trumpet. Yeah, yeah. but not the Latin trumpet. <laughs> no, no. Right. just the regular one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see where we at. Uh, next question, Lucky 13 coming up. What is the capital of the United States? Ooh, this would be a good one. Oh, man. You better get it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tristan got it right r right away. <laughs> it looks like everybody got it. Let's see. <laughs> yes. Let me refresh this thing. For a yeah, second, everybody I was like, got is it. this a trick question? I know, that's what, like, I... But like, Tamitha real? got it, uh, Tammy got it right away at 725 points. So she All was right, the quickest on job. the draw that time. <laughs> Nikki in at 695, Tristan at 655. All right, did I have anything special on that? I think I might have had some notes. I need to memorize these. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, so it started in 1791 in honor of George Washington. And it was made primarily of Maryland and Virginia. And in 1846, uh, Congress gave the land back to Virginia. So their piece of it at that point in time went back to them. Hmm. All right, let's see. Where are we at? Question 14. Here we go. What ingredients are required to make a cake in yeah. Minecraft? Oh, I have no clue. Uh, looks like nobody is getting this right. <laughs> yeah, that's. Do you play Minecraft, Tristan? I do. And you didn't know that. Um. Th it, it, I don't think that was actually right. Oh. <laughs> so milk, sugar, egg, and wheat is not correct. Is this uh, a protest? 
you're you're supposed to be able to make the wheat into like flour now. Oh, uh, and that's how you make. It. So maybe this is an out of date question. Yeah. I was looking at this. If you make to make bread, you can use three wheat. Yes. Make a cookie, two wheat, and one cocoa beans. Pumpkin pie is one pumpkin, one egg, and one sugar. I don't know. I thought you built buildings in Minecraft. <laughs> well, yeah, but you can make tasty treats too. That's yep. awesome. <laughs> All right, well, we will leave that one up for protest. <laughs> Nobody got it, so that's okay. Next question. What was the cause of Marilyn Monroe's suicide? Oh. Tristan, fast on the draw there. Yep. Correct answer, drug overdose. Did everybody get that one? Did you get that? Yeah. I think, I think everyone got everybody it. Everybody yeah. got it. Tristan, yeah, 749 points. Tammy, 704 points. Nikki, 616 now, here's something interesting I found about Marilyn Monroe's suicide. She was uh, found by her housekeeper, Eunice Murray. And Michael Jackson's doctor was Conrad Murray. No connection. Oh, oh really? just like a Just out of name, yeah. Thing. I thought you were oh, going to so be like, and, and that was uh, Eunice Murray's son. Me no, too. I didn't get that far into it. Maybe it's possible. There's probably <laughs> <Believe> conspiracy <laughs> things. Yeah. But I, th I found that really interesting. Yeah, drug overdose on um, August 5th, 1962. Oops. All right, next game, next question. 16 of the night coming up. The medical term for the belly button is which of the following? Tamitha, right away. Tammy got it. Tristan. <coughs> oh, boy. Picking up more points on that one. Umbicolus. Is that what it was called? Umbicolus. Umbilicus. I Everybody guess. got it right. Tammy, 714 points. Nikki, 646. Tristan, 493. And we are having a run for our money here. Now, the other thing I found out about the belly button, I like preparing these questions. I get to learn a lot of stuff. So I always thought the any versus the Audi was based on who did it, like how the doctor kind of sewed things up. But it has absolutely nothing to do with it. You were just born that way. Hmm. It has to do <laughs> it has to do with the space, the amount of space between the skin and the abdominal wall. Makes sense. Um, eighty eight percent of people are innies. And if you have an Audi and you're not happy with it, you can convert in a within a forty five minute surgery. All right. Yep. All right. Next question number seven. <coughs> What's the title of the first Sherlock Holmes book by Arthur Conan Doyle? Tammy got it. Got it. Tammy. 3277. <coughs> Study in Scarlet. That was the first book by the first author, the very first Sherlock Holmes book in 1887. Famous for the phrase elementary, my dear Watson. And he was a sir. He was knighted. <coughs> Sherlock Holmes was? No. <laughs> I was, was going to say. Yeah, they knighted an imaginary guy. Yeah. <laughs> All Never right. Know. <laughs> Here we go. Question eight. In Greek mythology, who is the god of wine? Ah. Dionysus. <coughs> did anybody get this one? I don't think so. I don't think anybody did either. Let me check. All zeros across the board. Nobody getting that one right. So that was the Greek god is... His, uh, his Festus. <laughs> it's hard to Go say even. Uh, if you're Roman, it was Bacchus, uh, god of the grape harvest around 1500 BC. Uh, his father or her father, whoever it was, was Zeus. Interestingly enough. And here we go. Two questions left. Is Tammy going to win two questions in a row or two games in a row? Let's see. How many points did LeBron James score in his first NBA game? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Correct answer is 25. And is that a – nobody get that one right either? No. No, it doesn't look like it. Nope, nobody got that one right either. LeBron James averaged 20.9 points his rookie season. Uh, in 2007-2008, his highest scoring was 30 points per game. Three-time NBA champion, four-time MVP, 2004 Rookie of the Year. 
Question 10, last one of the night. Coming up here, Tammy, 200 points in front of Tristan. Nikki, 800 points back. <laughs> so you got, you got your finger on the you got, you got your finger ready to go? All right, let's, here it goes. Last question of the day, coming up. Which of the following countries was not an Axis power during World War II? Oh, uh, man, what is going on? <laughs> Nobody getting it right. I, I fat-fingered that answer. I missed it completely. You know what I need to do is I need to uh, put on this. I have another screen here where I see the results. I need to put down what people actually guessed so that oh we yeah. can know, like, if everybody guessed something that wasn't right. Yes. So the axis of power was Germany, Italy, and Japan. Mm -hmm. It was three people or three people, three countries. Three countries. Uh, where is that here? Yeah. So Soviet Union was not part of that. And they all agreed they had a common en enemy, Germany, Japan, and Italy. But they never coordinated their efforts to try and defeat that common en enemy. Hmm. So very interesting. Let's see. That was it. Second bar trivia in the books. Tammy taking home both of them. All right. I'm going to end this game. Boop. Game over. Congratulations, Tammy. Two wins in a row. Make that three wins in a row, winning the Hot Dish Special. Yeah, congrats. Congratulations. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap up what we had planned for tonight. I don't understand how we stayed on schedule. We I did. have no idea. We didn't have a big clock or anything. I just said, oh, I'll take a couple minutes in there and a couple minutes there. And we're ending up right on time. So I hope you enjoyed this special Pilot TV broadcast. We'll be back next week uh, with a regular Megasota game night with the tournaments. Um, like we always have, and we'll do trivia at the beginning probably. So right before the 640 game, probably at 630, uh, we will do this trivia again. So make sure you're coming out. Tammy, you have set the bar very high. Yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we are looking forward to you coming back next week and trying this out. Next week we got, uh, where are we at here? 58 ball jackpot at $4,362. 56 ball at 12228 bucks. Enjoy Winter Wolves. Let us know what you think. Find us on Facebook. Go to pgl.world. Find all the contact info on there. And uh, let's see. Do you got anything else you want to say before we get out of here? We will see you next week. Have an awesome night. And remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. All right. See you next week.